Buenas, buenas. Welcome to In The Dot. I'm Kevin Ochoa, and today I want to share with you a follow-up video to one of our most requested videos, which was the FL Studio removing clicks with Edison video. And that video garnered 33,000 views back four years ago. And it was a really great uh, video because um, a lot of people didn't know that there is an option for declicking within FL Studio itself. So a lot of times companies will try to get you to buy their software based on your lack of knowledge on what your DAW can already do. Some noise and declipping and declicking restoration is something you can do within FL Studio. And not a lot of people know about that. Now, let me show you quickly on Windows how easy it is to do this. So here I have a piano sample, right? Uh, shout out to the University of Iowa because you have some great uh, samples that they share with everyone for free. So check out their website and you can download a lot of the samples for free. Now here I have a little click on the piano. Right. And I want to show you that inside of the spectrum analyzer, we can clearly see this right here represented by the line and also I have the snap to zero crossing. So whenever I place this, you know, I'm not going to hear any pops. However, when I close this on over here, I can hear that little click. Now I'm going to go over here, select my uh, brush right here, you know, my toothbrush, which is a cleanup tool, and I'm going to select the declicker, accept, and that's going to remove the click. Oh, or in this case, introduce one. Let's see. Let's see the second attempt at this. Uh, let's make sure I have this. Okay. How did the sensitivity to a uh, higher there? Right. So I'm going to lower this down and boom. There you go. You can see that there's a little tiny bit left. So maybe if I make it a little more uh, sensitive, maybe that gets us a little bit better result. Okay. I really like that. Let's go back. And what I'll do is I'll preview this. Okay, and versus this. So I think here, pretty good. And I can change th my view here. So I can change uh, this to be a natural scale. So the click has been removed. Now, good. However, if the issue here is that a lot of users are reporting that they're not, you know, seeing that dialog. And what happened is I recently got a Mac. And when I tried Edison, I remembered that a lot of users are telling us that there was no um, declicker. So when I go to the brush tool, there's a denoiser, there's a declipper that you have to download, by the way, but now there's no declicker. So unfortunately for FL Studio on Mac, there's no declicker as of right now. I'm pretty sure it'll get added on in the future, um, but as of right now, there's none of that. So you can see here that if I go back to my sample and I zoom in, ah, I'm still getting used to the shortcuts on the Mac. Here we go. There is a line right there and, you know, you hear that? Very, very apparent. So yeah, what I really want to do is, you know, get rid of it. So. I'm not going to leave you guys hanging and I'm going to show you a way to do this. Now I went and I downloaded audacity because I know it's an open source software and I'm pretty sure there was like someone who made an app, you know, or a plugin for it. So I went ahead and I searched up on their forums. Let me show you here and let me just quit this because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do right now. Let's go to Safari and D clicker. Here we go. And sure enough, there was someone who developed a free declicker. So I'll leave the link down below. Uh, Paul L uh, left this in the forum post on Audacity many, many years ago. So May 2014, I guess. Here you have a de-esser and a declicker. So go ahead and download them. Um, and then we're going to go to our downloads. And you'll see that there's right there, right? Uh, I'm going to right click on, on Audacity, click Show in Finder. It's going to open up my applications. I'm going to go to show package contents, contents, and then plugins. 
And there I will drag in the two downloads that I have, which is a declicker and then uh, my de-esser. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot Audacity. Okay. And let's see, I'm going to go to make this full screen. It's easier on the eye. Let me make sure that I'm recording the Mac. Okay, yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go to the effect, plugin manager, and then from there, I'll do rescan. Right. I don't know how long this is going to take, so I might have to skip this part of the video um, or, you know, cut this out. All right. So once we are done with the plugin scan, we can go down here and go to the clicker and make sure it's enabled. So we have, let me make this window bigger. The clicker enabled, okay. And the S enabled, okay. Press okay. I'm gonna uh, make this window small now. Uh, how do I do this? Like so. And I'm gonna go from Apple Studio and drag that file over to Audacity. Can I do that? Yes, I can. Awesome. And now, once I go back to Audacity, I'll go to uh, Plugins, and then I guess Special? No, let's see. Ooh, there's Spectral Edit. So that you could probably take some clicks away from Spectral Edit. I didn't know that. Uh, but let's see. Go to NA, and then go to D-Clicker. Select the audio for declicker to use. Oh, okay, so I'll do this. Okay, so go to effect, declicker. There we go. Okay, so I've never used this software before, but let's give it a shot. Let's see. Um, number of passes two. Let's see. Let's apply it. Okay, let's go to file, export audio, and let's just put it on my desktop, I guess. All right, and then I'll put declicked right here. I know this seems like a lot of work, but better than nothing, I say. Okay, all right, so now I'm once back in FL. I'm gonna go to my desktop here. Uh, stop right there and uh, let's put in the audio right there. Let's see, let's hope it's declicked. Spinning wheel. Okay, it did. I think it did. Ah, not too shabby. Okay, so there you go. That's how you can do that. Uh, get rid of some clicks. Now, here's another tip if you go to options inside Apple Studio. There's a way to add audio clips to be edited in another third party software. So let me go out and help you with that. That way you don't have to, you know, drag those files into Audacity every time you want to do this. So let me go find that feature here inside of Mac. Files. Here you go. Um, data folder. If we go down here, external tools. So I go to file, external tools, and I can add Audacity in here. So let's add Audacity. Okay, open. Okay. Launch with file. Okay. You can also set it to be your default editor, but I don't recommend that because we have Edison. Okay. So let's close this down. So if I go back to, let's see, my samples here, go to the University of Iowa folder, and I know it is my six hit. I'm going to right click on the file, and now you're going to see that we have external tools and Audacity. So this is going to load straight into Audacity. Now I'm going to head into my folder. I'm going to drag in the sample in there. And I'm going to right click here. I'm going to select to make unique a sample, right? That's going to render it out and give me another version of the file. And to show you that I can double click on it. And I'll show you in the browser folder that this is its own sample now, right? So if I go to my projects, I have the D-Click NFL Studio Mac project. And there I have 
my piano sample. So now if I right click on it and I select edit in external tools, I can edit in Audacity. And the benefit to doing this is whatever I do in Audacity is not going to affect the original file. It's just going to affect the one that's in my project. So I'm not doing destructive editing on the original file. I'm going to select an editing, um, you know, section right here. I'm going to go to effect and let's go to an 8D clicker. And let's see, number passes two. And let's see, sensitivity thresholds make it a little bit more sensitive. And let's hit apply. Okay, let's go ahead and export this audio. Okay, and I know this is located inside my Avil Studio folder, right? So I'm going to go to um, Documents, Image Line, Avil Studio, Projects, D click, okay, and Sample. Okay, I know it's a lot more work to do this, replace compared to Edison, but You know, it's it's something that's going to help us in the long run. So I'm going to go ahead and save this project. Save. Let's refresh it real quick. Okay. Now, when I go to edit in audio editor, you'll see that the click is removed when we play back. All right. It's not as present as the original one. All right, let's go grab the original one. Where the click goes all the way up. We can clearly hear right here. If we zoom in. All right. Whereas with the one we edited, it's much more subtle. All right. Not to zero processing. There you go. So make sure you have snap to zero crossing on. But there you go. That's how you can edit a little bit quickly um, the clicks. Now, is this the best solution there is in the world? No. It'd be the nicer if Imogen could add the D clicker by default in Edison. That would be the best solution for every one of us. Now, I'm pretty sure they're probably working on it. So let's give them a little bit of time and cross our fingers that it's happened soon. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for being here with us at In The Daw. Um, please, if you have any more questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And yeah, hopefully we can do a little bit more videos like these that are technical. And like I said, I have the Mac now. So hopefully I make more videos on the differences between Apple Studio on Windows versus the Mac. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching. I'm Kevin Ochoa with In The Daw, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.